All right, so I decided to try Blackout and Buffalo Rifle from Shooter's World in 223. <coughs> now, Blackout is a D063 in Lovix, and they show 223 data where um, Shooter's World doesn't. And I contacted the ballistician, and he said they recognize Lovick State is safe, but said it might not cycle in AR. Well, I had no problems with uh, cycling, and I ran the range from uh, started to 18.5 grain up to 19.7. It's a real small range. <laughs> But, yeah, the 18.5 didn't exactly eject with authority or anything, but they all ejected, so good deal. Um, and zero pressure signs. Groups, bleh, mostly my fault, I'm sure. I'm still really inconsistent, still learning. You know. I just changed my scope mount. Um, I had a QD... Um, Burst pepper, didn't really like it. Never felt confident that it was, um, you know, returning to zero, getting tight enough. Uh, so I upgraded to a, a worn XGEL this weekend. And, you know, I installed watching YouTube videos. I'm figuring out how to use a scope on my own because I don't have anyone, you know, really give me any pointers. And finally figuring out. Turn it down. Turn down that magnification. Um, just about to nothing because it's a 6 to 24. And while I wasn't maxing it out or anything, I got it up high enough where I think it was, you know, enough jitter. And, uh, really throwing me off. Now that I'm backed it way down, getting a little better. I think the mount helped. Um, some other factors. I got a long way to go, and I'll admit that. <laughs> Though I did shoot my best group ever this weekend, so there is that. <coughs> Just not with these powders. But it was Shooter's World match powder. Um, all right, now, the Buffalo Rifle. Ah. Uh, they both show, like, in their, you know, the compatibility charts. Both Lovex and Shears World show that is good for 223. But there is no data. It, they just say, uh, like Shears World says, good for reduced loads in all small rifle calibers. Zero data. So... Yay. Um, now I made a serious rookie mistake that could have ended horrifically. Think Johnny. Um, <laughs> Johnny's catchphrase. I almost lived it. Um, well, I was getting there anyway. <clears throat> now, when I early on when I talked to Shooter's Real Ballistician, he mentioned that they changed, you know, instead of just using the numbers, they change and put names on them. And he said, there's a reason for that. It's because Lovick's numbers can get confusing rather quickly. And that's exactly what happened to me. Um, reading comprehension? <laughs> it got me. Um, now, in the Lovick's, they all start with a D or an S. D is double bass and S is single bass. Well, this is a D, double bass, and I'm sure you can figure out where I'm going with this. Yeah. In their data, um, I confused it for S060. Not a good idea. Not a good idea at all. So... Um, I ran into um, pressure issues rather quickly. 
Um, yeah. And then I quickly said, you, now I know why they changed and gave them names. Because there's also, if you look in, like, uh, some of, some of the designations, the, the D060, um, some of them, I've seen other data where there's like a dot one, dot three, dot whatever. I'm not sure what that is, but you don't really see it in this book. Whether there are multiple dots, you know, increments for different ones, I don't know, but I could see where that would be a problem really fast. So a name makes a whole lot more sense. And well, by my third group, I was hitting pressure signs. <laughs> Yee! Um, started out 23.1 grains. It's fine. 23.4 is fine. 23.7, not so good. Um, see if these come through. Uh, so let's see if I can get this to show. Ah, it's always a problem, isn't it? This one is really showing it. You see a little burr there. Um, it's shiny there, shiny there. Um, three out of five, I think, show some signs. Some not bad. One's like, mm, yeah. And I weighed out all the chargers with my um, Charge Master Lite. Now, once I hit 24 grain, had one failed fire, and uh, yeah, things got really bad. Well, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, let's see, Whoop. right there. Um, I got one, if I could find which one, it looks like there's um, an extractor mark and an ejector mark, but, oh, I'm just not seeing it right now. This one's really buggered up. And, well, at that point, ah, no, <laughs> time to demill. Okay, oh, like I said, um, the blackout, zero pressure signs through the range I shot buffalo rifle stay between below uh, 23.5 grains right there is where you're ah uh, you're at the cusp I'm at least in my case so just throwing that out there um but yeah at least we know <laughs> <laughs> At least we got a clue now, so there is that. Uh, all right, now. Oh, uh, my 77 grain swaged bullets with Shears World Match. 23.5 grains. I shot my best group ever. Um, I'm just using Federal 223 brass and CCI 41s. <clears throat> so, um, the range I shot, 22 to 24, zero pressure signs, and I shot a 1.060 MOA, uh, now, I've pointed out before, my range, they list it weird, uh, if I had a range finder, I would really check it um can you turn me on to what is it fields area and measure app i'm not sure how accurate i really got but it seemed to be closer to 100 meters which that translates to 105 yards so i just went with that in um on target you got that now if it actually is 115 yards then my moa goes down and i get to feel even better <laughs> But it was a 1.214 inch group, 
with uh, my 77 grain swage bullets made from 17 HMR brass and um, Shears World Match rifle. So there is potential even within this crappy shooter. So throwing that out there for you to, you know, do what you will with that information. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, now I, I did post an image of that on um, on Slack under shooting because uh, I was dang happy. So I have to roll roll that in there. I just cropped out all the other bad groups around it, you know. Because then I'll hit 24, and the group opened right up on me. But it's probably more me, but I can't prove that, so, you know. <laughs> sort of blaming everything else, I think it's more me. But if I, I, if I can basically uh, hit a 1.2 with homemade swage bullets and unfamiliar powders, you can too. <laughs> At least, well, I know some of you can, and far better. So, uh, I've rambled on long enough, so I'll let you get back to life, and see you next time. God bless. See ya. Got all right. This is the shooter's world, like uh, the Buffalo rifle here. The only things they don't show up for are 5.56 NATO and 50 BMG. Everything else, good. Blackout, see, 223, 6 millimeter, 22 Hornet, and then the heavies. So it's just not for 5.56. See, they list it as compatible, but they don't give you any data. And, well, <laughs> I just, I forgot to, to throw that in. So, yeah, just kind of figure it out. Reduce the charge. All right, well, I've kind of figured out how hot I can go. Now to back it off and see what I can do. Get a 300 blackout barrel. Yeah, yeah, that's it. That's the ticket. Yeah. <laughs> All right, well. Later. God bless. See ya.